we made it to Florence, Italy. Uh, we just got our luggages. So we need to get out of this airport. Today is our first day here in Florence, so we're gonna go around our area. Uh, we'll go shopping today. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along. Peace! So our apartment is just behind the Domo Cathedral, as you can see at the back. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around, eat lunch. It's already 2 o'clock, since that's how we roll. This <laughs> is starting our day. So yeah, we'll bring you guys along. Right off the bat, I'm liking uh, Florence right away. So it has the Sevilla feel to it, but it's just bigger in terms of the spacing, but the old feel, the old, it has more stores. So yeah, just bring you guys along. went to my first sneaker store here in Florence. It's called Florin. Um, it's a cool consignment store. They have uh, apparel, uh, Italian branded shoes, sneakers, uh, and then they have a consignment wall. The Travis one, or the Travis Scott's Jordan ones are still there. They're selling it for a thousand to one thousand five hundred euros. But now going to LV and I'm looking for uh, Stone Island. So see you guys later. found a Stone Island store. It's right there. Hopefully I could buy my uh, cargo pants. Uh, chocolate milkshake with whipped cream on top. The kids ordered vanilla and strawberry gelato. So the milkshake costs about four euros. And how much is the gelato? I don't know. <laughs> so I guess it's about four euros each. So yeah, let's taste it if it's good. Unfortunately, we didn't buy anything today because the shops close at 7 p.m. But yeah, tomorrow's another day.
just finished dinner. Um, it was about 76 euros for two steaks, two huge steaks, one pasta, spaghetti meatballs, and one pizza. So it actually turns out it's about 4,500 pesos per family. Enjoying the cold weather, the cool weather. So yeah, just going around the area, checking out the sites, the shops, the well-lit streets while it's still practically early. So yeah, we'll check you guys later. Peace. got out of the store, picked up my my fear of God. So yeah, I'm rocking them right right away. Check it out. So I'm walking back to Luella and the kids. So I think we're gonna eat lunch. buy kicks so Luella just got her fogs in her size so hopefully Danny gets her kicks today uh, I saw Jordan 1 once I saw Jordan once hopefully they have my size if not yes I want to spend again <laughs> Florence so far. It's absolutely beautiful. Bellissima, bellissimo. Bellissima, bellissimo. So we we'll just go straight there. That's um, uh, Ponte Vecchio already. Mm -hmm. So do you know the history of Ponte Vecchio? Okay, no. Let uh, tell me. No, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> That's why we're going there. But uh. But uh. But uh. According to uh, Atikori. Uh, the rich family before before uh, they put that bridge uh, yeah they put that bridge because the family was rich and they didn't want to like they were like the royal family they didn't want to make halobilo with the lo the the peasants so they created the bridge so they'll walk on top of the peasants so that spreads the all the way until to the, the palace Okay. Okay. And before it was a palenque, but uh, since the royal family wanted, uh, it wasn't. It's, it smelled bad, something like that. So they they changed it. The they changed the stores, so that they made instead of uh, selling seafood or whatever, they changed it to gold, silver, and other stuff that rich rich people during that time could afford. So yeah, that's like the shortcut for uh, explaining the history of Ponte Vecchio. So we're a few meters out, so see you there. 